Welcome to a tutorial on how to install Ubuntu. Please, before you watch this video, try to watch um, the video on how to make your flash bootable or how to make your CD bootable so that you can install either through a flash or through a CD. So, but um, you might decide you want to try Ubuntu first before using it so you can click on try or you click on install Ubuntu right away. But let's try Ubuntu first before we decide to install. And then trying Ubuntu will make you be able to see all the features it has if you really want to go on with your installation or not. And um, here is like the tax, um, the start bar where you have so many things like uh, your Firefox, your Office Writer, which is like your Microsoft Word also, and your calculator your libre office calc which is like your excel and also your libre impress which is like your powerpoint so there's so many things here like um, this is the dash home that shows the start menu like you have in windows and this is where your all programs are when you click on it you can see all your programs installed ones and all of that and up here is the um status bar where you have your network your volume your date and time and all other things well assume you are good with um, installing the linux so you've checked it out and you like it so let's move on with installation so i click on install ubuntu as of, of this recording i'm using ubuntu 12.04 but there is 12 there's ubuntu 14 right now so you might decide you want to grab the latest version but it's actually the same thing so i click on my language which is english and i click on continue but if you decide you might wish to read um, other things um here we have some little things ubuntu has checked for us you need to have at least four to five gig of um, space to install ubuntu and make sure you are plugged to power source and then you are connected to the internet but it's not necessarily you are connected to the internet you can connect to the internet if you need to download updates while um, installing but i won't be doing any updates right now i will just click on continue so um there are so many ways in which you can install ubuntu you can install ubuntu as your second operating system that is you are already having a, an operating system and you want to install Linux um, Ubuntu that is to dual boot your computer that is you need to have two operating systems but right now I only want to have um, Linux which is the Ubuntu version on my computer but here I just click on continue and I told it to erase the old disk or probably you might click on something else and click on continue and this is the part where you can decide you want to partition your hard drive and give it some space so you click on new partition table continue then here i can click on um add and i give it my size let's assume i want to just give it um <coughs> about let's say 6 gig 6 gig and now just do this click on slash make sure you click on slash and you click on ok so i have free space of 10 gig so with my 10 gig i could install another operating system on it but there's a quick advice here make sure you are installing your linux as a second operating system if you are installing linux first or ubuntu first and installing windows windows bootloader will automatically overwrite the linux uh, or ubuntu bootloader so please make sure you are installing ubuntu as your second operating system so that you won't get cloggy al along the line but um i'll just do back and I'll use erase this can install Ubuntu. Click on continue and I click on install now. Then, oops. 
everything is coming up and it's creating file system so um ubuntu uses a file system called extension 4 or x4 and uh, which is a good uh, file system okay here is my keyboard layout you could choose your own keyboard layout or you click on detect keyboard layout and click on continue here you need to put in your name um real tech so my computer's name i don't want this bit i just want real tech pk username whatever username your password um password i won't actually forget though it's saying too short but that doesn't matter okay and i leave it at this and i'll click on continue and oops so you could just sit back and watch as um the installation proceeds and pretty soon i'm sure it's going to be finished ubuntu is so quick when it comes to its installation so but as that is installing you could just breeze through all of these features it has like the um, software center where all softwares are free and you could download try it out and all of that so and um have fun with your photos like um you have the gimp you have the short well photo manager which is almost like a picasa the game close to your photoshop and it's very very good there's so many things you could find in um in ubuntu which i so much cherish especially um the security in terms of you not having to stress yourself so much on antivirus though um there are little known viruses on uh, ubuntu but not as popular as that of windows but i hope um we won't get to a point whereby will be buying um, antiviruses for Ubuntu <laughs> so well your own personal cloud that was formerly Ubuntu one no longer exists on on um, Ubuntu Ubuntu one is actually a free cloud um, app like your SkyDrive your um, Dropbox and all of that for storing your information uh, online which is free we just um, five gig storage space and you could buy more to have your file stored um like i said ubuntu one you can actually store your music on it so and take your music everywhere you go and um, you have the rhythm box music player and all of that so as um we're done i'll show you on how to install programs on your um, Ubuntu or any Linux distribution and then we we'll also go through how to also um, compile programs for your for your Ubuntu so join me later for the rest of the training now um, our installation is complete so you can continue testing or you just uh, click on restart and then um, that is all okay see you next in another training